Good evening, crafty friends. This is Jennifer. Today, or this evening, I should say, I'm going to show you the $5 Lucky Dips that I got from Crafters Companion, the warehouse sale. So if you saw the last video, that was the $3 dips where I was griping about the uh, outline um, mermaid tie. So, you know, <laughs> let me start going through these and then I'll just tell you what my my one gripe, I guess, would be. Because I do think these were pretty good. So these were all $5 Lucky Dips. Or if you were platinum, meaning, you know, you have so many points accumulated, they're 20% off, so the $4. So the first thing, and I have to say, I love this color. It's like a Kelly Green, um, but it's their Violet Studio Brands, 8.5 by 11, 40 count, 180 GSM. So 40 count, that is pretty doggone good. I can't remember if it's solid core or not, but it might be. I can't remember, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, the, I love the color. So I was pleased to get that. Then we have a couple. Um, these are foil press ones. So the first one, if you can see, I know it's a little, you know, trying to make the light go around there, is this pretty heart, uh, I don't know, Barrett's or something like that, foil press heart frame. And it's, it's a darker color and I don't know what the difference is. I don't have a foil press, so maybe somebody can tell me. So I don't know if one maybe cuts and one doesn't. I, I don't know. I think this is, yeah, foil stamp and die. So this must actually cut out um, and be the foil press. And this one is just the foil, oh, it says foil stamp dies. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys who has, <coughs> excuse me, has it can tell me, but I love this design. I'm telling you, looking at this, I was like, oh, I could see myself doing foil press with all those dots in a foil. Love it. But no, I, I don't have any, I don't have foil press. I've held off doing it. And this is, let's see. Four and three quarters by 6.6 .6 inches. So it's a really nice size too. So I thought that was a really good deal because I'm pretty sure those are like $10, $15 a piece even when they're on sale like at the craft balls and things. Here's another one. Um, Vichy. Vichy. I don't know how you pronounce it. But so cool shape. Pretty designs if you can see without the reflections there the pretty design and again it's the darker gray one so those were the three foil press i got so while i do think those were a good deal i don't have a foil press so for me they weren't you know the most useful i guess um i got i think this is the only christmas <clears throat> one that i got and there oh and i should say i did the buy 20 get three free they also had buy 10 get one free i again did not, I don't think I got, did I get my three free in this? I don't think so. Um, and they gave me, yeah, they gave me the credit. I emailed them, they gave me credit for three, five, like, so $15. So if you didn't get your, again, any of the free ones, and basically that was like the first day or so, they're, you know, the glitch in the system or whatever. So this was another one, follow the star. These are the, <coughs> excuse me, um, where they twist and pop. So you need the separate little mechanism there, or you can make it. If you just look on YouTube, it's really easy to make your own. But it, if you see how the fold is there, this will pop out. So it is a, it is a pretty, and it's, it's huge, 8.2 by 3.6. So it is a very large um, stamp and die, or die cut, I should say. Twist and pop die cut. Can I get that out, right? Okay, next one. And I never bought these. I don't know why, because I really liked them at the time. But make a wish. Isn't this pretty with the dandelions? So you have here, you can see the embossing folder. And then here you can see actually the die. Oops. Okay, that was smooth. <laughs> the die and then the stamp. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. So obviously you can use it, you know, for any occasion. But butterflies and the dandelions and here they are done. I just think these are so pretty. And all you need then is like white run it through and some ink how great is that it makes a six by six card so i was thrilled to get that uh let's see next thing okay this is one i do have and they i'm telling you it seems like every goodie bag or dips has this particular one in i don't know why or at least it, it's specifically this one with a fairy but i think it's really cute but i do already have this so if you look if you haven't seen these before you can do it single, this single, or combined together. So it's very cute. It's a five by seven card. You can see it better that way. Um, I like them. I think they're really cute. Even simple like that and the tag and you're done. So I 
I, I am pleased with that. I think that's really nice to get for uh, $4 there. Okay, next. Let's see, this is one I just recently got. And just so you know, if you if you buy a lot of the Lucky Dips in, you know, like quick succession, like every couple months, say every three months, they have a sale with them, you are gonna get more repeats. So this is a repeat I just got not long ago. Um, so that's part of the, you know, that's part of the trade-off you get if you wanna do it often. If you wait, like maybe do it twice a year, you're probably not gonna to get too many um, repeats or things you already have. This is really nice. It is really sizable. If you can see like the size of like look at that for this piece that those are actual like sizes on them. The tags, the flower, the corner is just so pretty. I have no idea why there's like <laughs> the uh, horseshoe there. I don't know. I don't know what the is the theme is just as elegant embellishments and it's pretty and I do have that one. Um, I will say. Okay, so you know my gripe about the last one was. The, sending out the outline die without the stamp and I, you know I know somebody else who got one that's just of like outlines of flowers but no stamp like not a definitive line like no inside at all I just think that I don't know they could do better um, and all these I do think they're good and I do think they're nice and I do think they're worth it however my gripe with this one this time is it really felt like a, a, a bait and switch and I I love Crafters Companion. You guys see how much I bought. But this just felt like they just kept saying on and on, oh my gosh, the value, the value, the value of these are like $15 and this and that. So when you see some of the items that aren't so much, and I'm not saying necessarily mine, but like a couple of these, like this one, I don't know that I think of this as a $20 die set. You know what I mean? Also, they kept saying, oh, you're going to get the 12 by 12 paper pads and um, you know, I, again, chatting with different people who messaged me and things like that, a uh, bunch of people did not get paper pads in, in them, in their lucky dips. So it just felt like what they're showing. And I did go back, just saying, I did go back and relook at several of the different shows from the week to see what they were pulling out of the bin to verify before I even made this statement in my video that what they were showing i other than one or two things i nothing looks the same and that's unusual i don't know so yeah that's my gripe for this video <laughs> so scroll all my uh rant over so this one is floral tag so obviously very cute tag here again just to put it on and a flower that would quill so it must make a pretty big flower and even these i don't know the exact sizes but i can feel like they're decent size on there so i was okay with that <clears throat> this one i think is so pretty fancy frames create a card and it's like it's huge i mean i'm sure it's five by seven yeah and it says three pieces so i'm thinking it must have like in maybe the inside part the outer line i i'm not quite sure i think like if you kind of look at the edges here trying to guess the shadow layer maybe one then this is two and this is three something like that but I thought wow that's really pretty for five by seven so I was thrilled with that for four dollars yes please really pretty and obviously one of the older ones but I was happy about that um, I got another one of the Molly Harrison ones I'll tell you what I wish they'd bring these back or another round of these um, maybe other than you know the fairies but it says poppies of amethyst these are just gorgeous and they're huge and they're photopolymer i'm pretty sure it makes almost like a five by seven if you can see the size in here and i'm trying to see beautiful inside and out with love leave a little sparkle wherever you go look you can see best wishes thinking about you today bless i can't read the rest of it here we have like the flowers butterflies isn't that i just think that is so pretty so um yeah if you grab these these are really nice and i'm surprised they even still have any to be honest because i do think they're really great okay so now we have some things that are relatively new um i'd never bought the angel collection so i thought this was really nice it's a 3d embossing folder i did buy the word angel and the sentiments with it so i thought that was really pretty and i also bought the download of the paper pads so i you know I, I wish they'd do more than downloads. That way I could pick and choose. I'll pay for the download, keep that. That way I don't have to have hundreds <laughs> of paper bags. How many do you guys have? I know I have well over 200 easy. <laughs> I have a 4x4 Calyx unit 
filled with all kinds of paper. So somebody else tell me what, how bad is your paper addiction. But so this was a really pretty one. It's 3D and again, it's five by seven. Another one. Um, this is, oh yeah, this, okay. So this would be a uh, Christmas one and I did buy this whole set. So I do have this one and I love these, uh, merrily on high and it has the bells and then like the holly and berries, ding dong, merrily on high. It is gorgeous. Whether you're making a shaker and just putting that inside or you're doing photos or you're using this in a photo album, but so you can see it that way too. I love these. I love this whole set. It's definitely maybe because I do more scrapbooking and I'm addicted to shaker cards, but love this, love this. Okay, next one. Here is one, and I these just came out not long ago. This beautiful butterflies. This is so 5.1 by 3.8. So you get the sizing on there. Obviously, not exactly. I guess you'd make probably a four by six on it. But uh, for the stitching, and here you can see it like a little better, like with the lines. And I did see some people, and rather than actually do it with thread, they just drew the lines, which I thought was brilliant. I mean, the thread is really nice, and it does, it makes a beautiful tactile card. But if you want, just draw the lines. And again, shaker, sentiment, whatever you like on there. So isn't that pretty? So, and that's a new one. So I thought that was great. Here is one from <clears throat> last year. Um, and I don't think I had it because I never bought, because I was so excited before I got the pumpkin, I think in the last Lucky Dips or Goodie Bag. I can't even keep it straight in my own head. So I was really happy to get that. I do have one of the, um, I think it's the Gary box coming because they said you're going to get the star one and these in it. <laughs> so, which is okay because it just makes it faster. So you cut out the, all the layers, then you see the little... A, B, C, D, E, or A and B, where it has to do with where you put um, dots or tape or glue or whatever you want to put it together. But look at that. Isn't that great? So I love that. And I was really happy to get that. So one makes three and a half inches. The other is a four and a half inch bobble. And of course, you can make that to whatever size you have and whatever color theme you have going on that year. Next, again, another, this is new, the Roaring Twenties. I did not buy anything from this set. So now I kind of wish, um, I know somebody got the stamps, the sentiment stamps that kind of match this, but love it, love it, love it. Four by six. So that was cut and embossed. So obviously the lines will emboss and it'll cut out the center, but isn't it pretty? So it was really pretty. I just, I, you know, it's a beautiful set. It's just, I can, you can only buy, at least for me, so many of the full collections. So this is one I was hoping to get different pieces of it, but I love that. I was very happy with that. Next, um, Shaker tags again. I swear this is like only a couple months ago, and I love shakers. <coughs> Excuse me, um, but I didn't buy it. And here it is. And I do think this was probably 15 20 dollars for the set. But here they are. You have so you have you know the stars, circles, the hearts, the, our little mason jars. It's just it's too cute. Look, I mean, look at how stinking cute those are. Adorable, and I am was. Totally surprised to see that in there. Very, very happy to get it. Okay, we're still going. Okay, first one would be of the brushes. Now, here is what. This is something they actually did show. You might get um, the aqua blends. I have almost all the aqua blends, but I will definitely be probably keep these because, um, you know, they run out eventually. And it's not like the ink refills where you can just stick them in there. So, this is the landscape. So, you can... Kind of see the colors if you want bright meadow i like that one the <laughs> green ocean green lake blue forest sandstone and bark very pretty next the same thing another of the aqua which i love the aquas i like water coloring better than the markers uh, um, the last year because it's just easier and i think more forgiving um which is why i did the academy of color if you can get it it is fabulous and it will teach you a lot but Colors of spring, blue lagoon, coral reef, raspberry, pineapple, coconut, and Hawaiian blue. Aren't they pretty? Oh, love it. So I thought those were great. Now how about this? A six-piece tri-blend brush. Couldn't believe that. It says exclusive collection. I don't know. So somebody, I wanted to know why is that considered an exclusive collection. It says classic vintage. And you can see vintage blue, antique pink. 
green gray blend muted brown dusty purple and light yellow but i i mean those are great so you have 18 colors all gorgeous why does it say exclusive does anybody know i mean i probably wasn't paying attention and honestly all the ones i've gotten here i don't think i bought a single one i just keep getting them in goodie bags and deals like this where it cost me four dollars for that whole pack so and this was something they did actually pull out of the bin to show it okay last item for the five dollars dips thrilled beyond words to get this <clears throat> this is good tidings this is one of the huge ones Let's see if you see the green on here this was from the christmas compendium i honestly it's put away and i'm not pulling the box out just yet um i did get the original christmas compendium but not all of, like the auto ships when it came out what a year or two years ago whatever it was so i don't think i don't think i have this one but i could be wrong we wish you a merry christmas and happy new year good good tidings we bring little town of bethlehem on the first day of christmas my true love gave to me we three kings the stars the stars in the bright sky look down where he lay star of wonder holy night all is calm all is bright so a partridge in a pear tree deck out so it's really cute these generally are like 25 dollars for these big huge sheets and they go into the notebook or any notebook you can fill it in they are acrylic but i mean they're great so that was the last thing so as usual let me know what you think um, I have a whole bunch of other, oh my gosh, other stuff that just came in um, over the weekend and coming next week. So I'm still trying to get caught up. I will be just keep churning them out and let me know what you think and if how'd you get, how'd you do with yours? That's it for me. Bye for now.